Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another off the board. I am also using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for this layout. And I'm going to show you the Pinterest board pin that I have decided to use today. And all of the elements that I have decided I want to pull from my kit and try to use up on this layout. Now this layout was simply an inspiration. I do do the sketchy circle. I only go with one photo, um, but there was like little elements all over it and I decided to make big clusters so that I could use up some of the ephemera and items that I have from my kit because I don't know the next time I'm going to get to Universal, if ever, so don't want that kicking around for the rest of my life. So I do choose this as my background. I trim off the border strip and at first I think I'm going to do pencil lines and trace and I'm like just commit grab my black g2 gel pen and I go for it I make some wonky sketched crazy lines in a circle and I like it <laughs> I'm gonna trim my photo down and I'm going to mat it with those other papers that I had pulled out so today is a hop so linked down below I will have all of the other lovelies that are playing along um, it, there is no theme for the month, so everyone will have chose their own Pinterest board inspiration. So don't forget to check them out and see what they created. So I am just going to map my photo. Now this um, layout when I seen it, or this uh, pin when I seen it, I knew I wanted to do it. Because I've had these wood veneer circles and they're harry potter themed from some assemblage required which is mk's shop over on etsy if you have not checked that out please go check that out because awesome awesome items yes so i have been trying to figure out a layout that i could use them on because they're the sorting hat and they're circles and they say properly sorted into and then the house well there was one that said i think it was nine and three quarters and i used that on a members only video but I needed to use these other four up. So I'm going to use those as kind of the base for four of my clusters. And you'll see I start to do that here. I do pop the photo up on some fun foam. And I am going to pull out my black close to my heart ink. And we're going to stamp some of these stamps on there as well. Now I did mention my members only. I have opened my channel up to a, sub, a member subscription um, where my month monthly and weekly and all the time I am trying to post member only videos where I have my members tell me what they want to see done you know what would you like me to show you whatever it is so I will be having a fussy cut one here shortly and the way that you can join is on my YouTube homepage there is a join button if you do not see the join button try it on a laptop or a different device because it's beta tested and it doesn't work real well on tablets I've been told but if you are really wanting to join go ahead and send me a message and I will or leave a you know comment down below and I can send you a direct link to where you can join in and we are actually even going to start doing some live scrap sessions hopefully um, if not the end of this month, which is October 2021, we'll be doing that in November. But let's get back to the layout. So there you see there's those four fabulous wooden pieces. I am going to go ahead and commit to the placement of my picture. And I do use both types of adhesive um, just because sometimes the ATG tape doesn't like to really stick to the fun foam. Not real sure what that's about, but it's cool. So I am going to Wizards here is going to be serve as part of my title. I wanted to use this port of entry. I kind of pulled everything from my kit that was like park hopping, all aboard type stuff because we're getting ready to get onto the Hogwarts Express and go to the next park in Universal Studios Orlando. So, you know, where else can you use that? I did have these, I believe there's, what, six of them? One, two, three, seven of them <laughs> um, from one of the collections because they're, they're coordinating house colors. And I did make sure that each of the houses had it's coordinating color by it and here I am just going to fussy cut a few things I don't make you watch me do all that but now we're going to commit and I am just going to start adhering all this stuff down I do use my liquid glue for the wood veneer pieces because they're uber super thick and the best quality ever so you guys have got to check that out I am placing things directly onto my photo because 
I mean, it doesn't bother me. I took several pictures, so there are already another layout or two of him, my husband, and his daughter in front of the Hogwarts Express. So it's okay if I'm covering up. But I'm, I'm not, I'm like covering up the wheel, you know, nothing too important. So I am just making sure that I don't want to cover up the stamps because I rarely, if ever, stamp. And I have tons of them and I need to use more of them. So, you know, getting those on there, that little piece was a train so I get that on there as well and we are just going to decorate up these uh, circles I did speed this up quite a bit because it's basically just me plopping things down on the page I did take my time well for me I took some time and threw some stuff into some clusters and just really wanted to use these are the bigger pieces so I definitely wanted to get those used up and then I will come in um, with that wax strip or sheet there where I put all of the other things from the stickers. and Because I have to, even I have this large kit, I like choice, but I have to limit my choice or I will not use things. It will take me forever to make decisions. All right, so now we're going to come in with this and I start popping in the foam bits and this says World Traveler and some weird writing uh, underneath it. I'm not real sure what it says, but I do go ahead and cover that up. I've got the now boarding the little nine and three quarters. I'm going to stick in that says wish. This is park hopping. So I cover up that the little gold writing and I just start sticking uh, things around a little clear word sticker and a little and circle and just wherever I can find little places to put things. That was the, I believe that's the no, that's not the Slytherin one. I do cover up the tag holes with these three little butterflies. And I start adding a few little things in here and there. I want to extend the portion of my little title and picture cluster. So we're getting all of these on here. And I believe my title is going to be a Magical Wizard. Yes, it is. And that's going to be my title on an angle or on a on the vertical. I am going to pop this portion up, so I just trim some little tiny pieces of my fun foam. I've been having fun with the fun foam lately. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> so we're just getting everything stuck down. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I mean, it's like one of my favorite layouts now because there's so many things on there to look at. I do come in with these little illustrated faith. Um, with their crosses, but I'm making them into like wonky X's and I'm tucking some under and I just get them. I'm going to use everything that is on that sheet. That was my goal. Try to use as much as I can. Um, I do have another layout that will follow this. Um, you will see that later on my channel. That is me and my son in front of the Hogwarts Express. So I do what's left. I add to what's on all this little ephemera and I create one more layout. So I get some hearts in there. I am going to pull out these uh, acrylic um, lightning bolts, and I do get three in black on there. Because Harry Potter and lightning. I'm not real sure if that's what they were meant for, but in my mind, they were. This one right here, apparently, when it was cut, wasn't the best quality. And there's some kind of weird release paper on the back of it. So I just flip it over and make it work for me. And just get those on there. Then I forgot that I need to use the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I'm going to pull all these little fancy sparkles and stick them around just to, you know, jazz up all the clusters a little bit. I always forget the 12 by 12 sticker sheets. Do you guys do that? Do you guys like have all this other fun stuff? And then you're like, at the end, you have nothing but a 12 by 12 sticker sheet with like two stickers going. I am totally guilty of that. Yeah. So I am making it a goal. I'm going to try to use that up on some upcoming layouts. Well, use not use it up. I mean, there's a lot of stickers on there. But, like, you know, put a big dent in it. Sorry, that's my dog in the background, if you can hear her. She's hungry. She's going to go get a snack, guys. Bee's hungry. So I come in, and I want to add some of these Wine Country Spiegel Mom scraps. And I believe, not that I can fly... Put out. I thought I had them sitting right here. Hmm. That's, oh, they're, they're literally right in front of my face. They are wine country, and they were designed by my good friend Sarah Scraps. So, like, I have all of hers. 
<laughs> I do just use the gold ones. So I kind of go with the bronze and some of the gold ones and I start popping them in and around. And that is pretty much going to do it for the layout. So I want to remind you guys again, linked down below will be everyone that is playing along. Please give them some love, some shout outs, see what they created. Um, do all the YouTube-y things, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like the page, click the subscription button, join if you would like to, leave comments, questions, or concerns down below. Yeah, I think that's it for the youtube things. I will have everything linked down below as well. I'll have Close to My Heart, Brutus Monroe, um, Confessions of a Paper Addict, and Glassboard Studios if you would like to use any of my codes. And that's going to do it. Here's some uber super close-ups of all of those little, um, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.